everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelly, I make art videos, I do product reviews, tutorials, and tips for creative moms. And in today's episode of How to Fill a Sketchup, <laughs> Sketchup? In today's episode of How to Fill a Sketchbook, we are going to be doing a Jaws sketchbook cover tutorial. So if you like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get notified of all my new uploads. Let's get going. Okay guys, so I am using the Strathmore watercolor 48 page soft cover sketchbook for this. It's 140 pound cold press paper, so it's got a little bit of tooth to it. Um, I am also using Liquitex basic acrylic paints for this project. And right now I have taped off my edge and I put two coats of the white acrylic paint on there and taped off the top and I'm putting another layer of white for behind the letters and then going in and adding the blue for the water. You can see that I have printed out my Jaws movie poster reference image and I will begin to draw out the shark and the letters as soon as these layers dry. I also want to mention that this sketchbook cover idea was inspired by by Bun. She did um, a tutorial similar to this uh, last Halloween around that time uh, and it was the the book from Beetlejuice, the handbook for the recently deceased or <laughs> whatever it's officially called and I was like oh my god this is genius and I need to do a Jaws sketchbook cover for Shark Week. So that's why I am doing this video and I can already tell that this is going to be my favorite sketchbook so I really highly recommend personalizing the cover of your sketchbook. It's a great way to get started. Okay, so now I am sketching out Jaws himself with my Prismacolor Coal Erase colored pencils. And I chose blue for the shark and red for the letters just to make life a little bit easier so I don't have to worry about graphite lines showing through, um, through the acrylics when I put them on there. I did find this quite challenging. The teeth are always so challenging with these, with these sharks, which is, um, Kind of like another reason why I really wanted to do um, shark art this week during Shark Week because it's just it's so challenging I think just even thinking about doing <laughs> shark teeth which is funny and right here you can see that um, I was trying to draw the chick that's supposed to be swimming and honestly I just kept screwing up and I just got frustrated with it and I was like you know what I don't even think she looks cool anyway I think she's kind of ugly just sitting there and it, she looks really like a Barbie like like she looks very plasticky and I just didn't like the way she looked anyway and I got really irritated with it so I was like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and just do Jaws and Jaws himself because partly you know it's Shark Week so who cares about the chick right nobody needs to see another naked blonde this week so no offense <laughs> but that's just where I'm at. I didn't feel like drawing her and I didn't want to draw her so I'm not going to draw her or paint her or anything involved with her. So I am working on my letters right now and I do mess this up a little bit. I'm going to have to go back in and touch up with a little bit of white later on. Um, <laughs> one thing I did find out about myself while I was working on this project is that I kind of discovered that I really don't care for acrylics at all. I don't I don't think I like them I think I'm I might eventually try to go back and try oils or something but I don't know it might have been the sketchbook cover too because you know I'm, I'm used to working on canvas with paints and even even on the canvas I don't really care for acrylics that much um, I feel like they dry a lot so I am leaning towards watercolor a lot recently and I do think that um, I'm going to prefer gouache over acrylics. So um, I did purchase some of those and I'm gonna be playing with those as well. But eh, for right now, I'm really glad that I didn't buy a whole bunch of acrylic paint just because I didn't really, like, I don't know. I, I just, I don't think I like them, which is weird for me because that's what I used to always work in. And I think that's what I've done art in a long time before I started my YouTube channel is because I just didn't really, you know, dig it before. But I'm going to 
I'll probably do a few more pieces just to make sure that I don't like it. But um, I did purchase some gouache, so I'm really excited to give that a try because I've been enjoying watercolor so much lately. And going to work here on him and just putting the lights and the darks where I think they need to go. And blending was a very difficult because of the texture of the sketchbook cover it's um it's very vinyl almost like fake leather like and very soft it was very weird to work on but it was a lot better once i did the um the two coats of the titanium white as a base and now i'm coming in and i'm still messing around with the lights and the darks and just trying to pull the blue into the shark so it all looks like you know he's actually in the water and he's not just sitting on top of it and i'm gonna have to go back and um clean up the water a little bit and add some lights and darks to that as well all right so while you guys are watching me paint this portion of it i wanted to ask are you watching shark week if you are let me know in the comments below how you're liking it so far um it's the 30th anniversary of shark week which is quite impressive because i don't think i remembered starting to watch it until a few years ago i think it was probably three years ago three or four years ago that i started watching it and um i remember just seeing the great white the first time they they caught it breaching and it just it was so gorgeous yet haunting that I was just so hooked after that. I was like, man, these animals are so cool. I really need to watch watch this every year, and I've been addicted to it ever since. So let me know in the comments below if you are watching Shark Week and how you're liking it so far. I also just want to let you guys know that I did have to move my uh, voiceover recording session um, outside. <laughs> so if you hear crickets, <laughs> it's not your imagination. I'm actually doing this voiceover outside because it was a little loud in my house the kids are still not officially asleep yet so i figured <laughs> to catch up on all the stuff that i have to do uh because we've had such a rough week last week with the kids and everything um that i would bring this out here and get caught up on all my stuff so if you are hearing crickets i apologize for that but that's just nature and you're not hearing things <laughs> it's actually happening um so Right now I am touching up the water and I'm using that mop brush to kind of try to smooth things out. It was really hard to mix water with the acrylics on the sketchbook cover just because the cover, it doesn't absorb stuff like um, like the canvases or watercolor paper would do. It's It was very tricky to work on so I'm actually really happy with how this came out in the end. But as you can see right now I'm pulling some blues and still working on the highlights and the contrast in, in Jaws here and just trying to get the colors and everything right. It's funny too, one of his eyes, um, oops, my phone's going off and a train's coming. <laughs> so yeah, we're definitely outside. Um, yeah, so one of his eyes was a little trickier, like the way that the angle of the view from the reference photo, um, like there was like this piece where there was um, a shadow and it was really hard for me to get the shadow and it turns out it wasn't completely drawn right. Um, so that's another tip for you. Make sure you have your sketch completely the way you want it before you start painting. Otherwise things can get difficult. Okay, so the train has officially went the other way so it's not quite as loud now but I am telling you this Shark Week footage and voiceovers is definitely challenging this week. Everything seems to be working against me. Okay, so apparently it wasn't gone and <laughs> there's been three cars driving by, you know, and it, it's officially 12, 16 a.m. in the morning, so I'm quite confused as to why there's so much noise out here, so I do apologize for that. And my phone just went off again. Oh my goodness. Um, it seems like the universe just doesn't want me to make these videos for you guys. I don't understand why. But, anywho, so now I'm, this was a very challenging part. I am, I used uh, a white charcoal pencil to 
to draw the bubbles around him like as he's flying upwards and there's like this trail of bubbles behind him it was really hard to um to figure out how i was gonna paint like the translucentness of the bubbles because i didn't have any transparent mixing white which is something that i overlooked when i bought it because i had titanium white so i didn't think about having a transparent white so i did try to water it down and then i had to pull blues and add some contrast in that area so it it did end up coming out okay which is what i was happy with and I did go ahead and layer some blues in with the black in, in his mouth so it looked a little bit more depth-like. And I'm just putting some finishing touches around everywhere. I'm working on the bubbles on the other side. And I ended up pulling some blue into his teeth as well so everything looked like it was underwater. So now I'm officially signing it and adding some bubbles up top. And this is the finished product. And I'm very, very happy with how it came out. I'm gonna have to Mod Podge it too, just to keep it nice and clean. I hope you guys like it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up share with friends and why not hit that subscribe button because well it's fun and it's free